does enjoy the occasional beer. But when his doctor said, John, you've got to keep your sodium below this many milligrams every day, knowing that beer has a lot of salt, because you can taste it in there, it just went out of his thought. Oh, it was probably about a year, year and a half later, he was on his computer, and I heard, Hey Jude, I can have beer. Mm-hmm. Michelob Ultralight has no sodium. He wrote down the beers that he found that day that had no sodium, and there was five on there. And I stuck it in my low-sodium folder, just in case I ever needed it again. And today was the day. So I pulled it out and did my Google search. Found that three of them have no sodium for a 12-ounce can. Michelob Ultra Light, Miller Light, and Jamaican Ale. The other two that he had listed, Red Stripe, today has 14 milligrams per 12 ounces, and Amstel White, 5 milligrams per 12 ounces. That's still not bad. Coors Light, today, has 13 milligrams per 12 ounces. Bud Light has 12 milligrams. The average sodium that's in beer for 12 ounces is between 7 and 14 milligrams. The non-alcoholic beer averages 14 milligrams per 12 ounces. But if you like a beer that comes from Germany, it's G-O-S-E. Wow. It can go up to 400 milligrams of sodium for 12 ounces. If you subscribe to my channel every Friday, you'll get a brand new low-sodium recipe and sometimes a little extra tip to help you keep your sodium low. We just simply cannot trust our taste buds. There are things that taste really salty that don't have much at all. There are so many different kinds of beer on the beer aisle at my grocery store. If you want to know what your favorite has, Google How much sodium in Whatever beer you like, it'll come up and tell you. You might be able to have the occasional beer. You might have to pick a new brand. 